Okay, we're talking with Zach Bell, who just finished third in the points qualifier at the Los Angeles Track World Cup. So, uh, looked like it was, uh, I wouldn't say easy, but it looks like you were in control out there. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good heat for me. I think most of the guys decided to ride the way I would have liked, more for the sprints. So, yeah, I was, felt pretty controlled for, for most of the race. Okay. So any points where you felt it might be getting away and you had to sort of do some work to bring it back or? Uh, no, not really. I had the, the advantage of having a uh, one sprint first early on. So that gave me a pretty good cushion and I knew pretty much then I could afford to let almost six guys lap the field as long as I was beating the guys in the back. So it wasn't, uh, I wasn't doing the majority of the work to bring those guys back, but uh, everybody was tired out there. so. They were just coming back on their own. So how do you feel about this, now it's the third World Cup, how you feel your uh, your, your form and your, I guess your, your your strategy and so on is coming together? Uh, every every World Cup is another step, right? So um, I think this one has been good because it's given me an opportunity to really go away from the first two. You know, with those first two being so close together, it was hard to make too many adjustments in between. You just kind of went with the flow and. I hit those first two pretty hard, so I knew I'd have to come into this one thinking a bit more, and uh, I'm, I'm glad because you know that's something I've needed to work on, and it was good. That race gave me the opportunity to do that, so I'm pretty happy. You're good. Well, thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, so we're talking to Zach Bell. Um, it's after the final for the points race. Uh, you finished uh, 17th, I guess in a tie for 17th, um, a, a lap down on, on the leaders. Can you tell me a bit about the race? It obviously didn't go quite as well as your qualifier. No, I mean, like, qualifier finals, different animal, right? So, um, I tried to execute my plan as best I could, you know, and I think, I think I did that. I was really trying to be conservative, and, you know, the legs just, Right there. Not much else to say about it. So was it a surprise? Because it seemed to be it seemed to be going fairly well in the qualifier. Did it just be, be between the qualifier and the final? It just no. I mean, it's just uh, like I said, it's just a, a different a different race, right? I mean, I think it was it was going well in the qualifier, but then the final, you got the uh, the guys who really want to push the pace are, are going to do it. You know, whereas in the qualifier they they didn't do it so much. And, uh, you know, that was my only concern coming into this, coming off of Burnaby, all the races were pretty short and snappy, and pretty much everything I've done since China has been pretty short and snappy, so uh, when they really opened the gas like that, the legs just weren't there. It's been a long season since, since October now, so um, I'm just going to have to rest and refocus for, for the points race in, uh, in, in Denmark or Worlds. I don't know, I'll have to talk to my coaches and figure out what to uh, do that. Great, thanks very much. So you still got, uh, I guess, what you got? What, what are you doing? You're doing a scratch race in the Madison. Um, I think probably Ryan will do the scratch race now, just because I think one of the reasons is I'm fighting a little bit of fatigue. Right. And we were going to make a call on that based on, on that race. And we, with, with luck, maybe I could do something in the scratch race, but it's uh, more important for the Madison right now for both the qualification. And I don't want to. I sell Ryan short just because I want to try something with luck, you know, and I think it'll be good for him to open his legs up. Okay, thanks very much. Sure.